Number 43. How far from a piece of paper must you hold your father's 2.25 diopter reading glasses to try to burn a hole in the paper with sunlight? All right, so if we know the power in diopters, we can always find the focal length, right? So why don't we do that first? So power is equal to 1 over the focal length. If you have to find the focal length, right, you just simply cross multiply this, right? Bada bing, bada boom. This is going to be 1 over 2.25. Those are the proper units for uh, power diopters. It's just 1 over meter. So this is just 1 divided by 2.25, right? We've seen this already, and this works out to be a focal length of then 0 0.444 meters, all right? Now... What happens here, and we we actually take a look at uh, number 42, because it was similar. So we notice, we saw like a little bit of a pattern, especially if we start looking at this formula over here, that once we start, let's say, once the uh, focal length, let's call this the focal length here, F, okay? Once this particular image, and you can also consider the object and stuff, We I think the one prior we were talking about the object, but the image is gonna be basically the same thing. Um, Let's say here we have our piece of paper, okay? And as you move this, uh, well, let me, let me actually do it this way. The focal length of the, of the lens is an inherent property, all right? So that's 0.444 meters. That's like saying, you know, it's kind of, well, let, let me explain it this way. And let's also assume, let's also assume that uh, this particular distance here is going to be zero point, um, you know, I don't know, 0 0.5, okay? So a little greater. These are all in meters. So, and by the way, the sun, right, is all the way on the other side of this thing. It's infinitely far away, actually. So the DO is actually infinitely far, okay? Essentially for the problem. Obviously, the sun isn't infinitely away. But in terms of these these distances, I'd, I'd, I'd argue it's basically infinitely away. So once we move this lens now, in comparison to the paper, right? What happens here is then our uh, DI changes, okay? And what you'll notice if you ever played with this as a kid, right? As you move the, what happens is you move this away, what tends to happen, right? It, it the, the, uh, the area here starts to get more pointed and pointed and pointed until you move this lens too far away and then there's no light anymore. Right, if you move it really close, this gets bigger and bigger and bigger, right? The area that the sunlight is hitting, okay? So it so turns out that if you can maneuver this lens at just the right position, and that exact right position is actually equal to the focal length, if you can just get it in that exact same distance as the focal length, you're going to concentrate all of the sun's rays exactly onto this particular point, okay? And... That's then the answer, all right? So the same, we would have to hold his reading glasses 0.444 meters away because at 0.44 meters away, all of the rays coming into this lens are focused right at that point. Highest than intensity of light at that point, all right? So guys, that's it. I will see you in the next problem, all right? Don't try this at home. Don't do it. Take care.